Google Calendar is a very powerful scheduling program, but I find that most people only scratch the surface of what it can do. There are a ton of tips, tricks, and hacks that you can use to make the most of this great Google app. Today, I'm going to show you three of my favorite Google Calendar hacks for boosting overall productivity. First of all, I find that one of my biggest time wasters is actually looking at my calendar. I'm constantly checking it to see what's coming up and making sure that I'm not forgetting things that are coming down the pipeline. Now, when I'm at my desktop, a lot of time is spent in Google Chrome, and I'm also a pretty tab-heavy browser. This is why I like to use an extension called TabTab. So, let's go to the Chrome Web Store and search for TabTab. I'm going to click on the plus icon to add it to Chrome. After I install it, it's going to direct me to this page, where I can set up my new tab screen. You have other options here as well, but I'm going to select the calendar option, then say OK, and allow it to access my Google Calendars. Now, whenever I open up a new tab in Chrome, you'll see that my calendar items are displayed in the background. Turning the neutral and largely unpractical standard new tab screen into a constant update of my upcoming events. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to block off specific time slots in your calendar so that others in your organization can book meetings or appointments with you as required without having to email back and forth in order to confirm availability. So to show you how to do this, we're going to start by doing something that looks a lot like setting up a standard event. I'm going to select a block of time on the calendar that I want open for appointments. Let's say a two hour block between two and four. I'm going to label it coaching appointments. Then instead of clicking on create event, I'm going to click on the appointment slots option at the top of the pop-up window. A title goes here. You can edit the time block here if required, and you can make the entire block of time a single appointment slot, or you can offer spaces in intervals that you decide. So I'm going to set these up to be 15 minutes long each. Next, I'm going to enter a brief description so people know what I'm asking them to do. If you're going to make these appointments regular in your organization, then you can also click the repeat button to make the events populate on a basis that you can specify here. Then you add email addresses of those you wish to book the appointments in this box here. Anyone we email this link to will be able to book appointments in the block of time that we've set aside. So let's flip over to an invitee account and open the email that we got. There. So we see where the time's available, and now we book our slot. That means if you need to have 8 or 10 meetings, instead of having to schedule each one individually, you just block out a piece of time, send the link to the people you need to meet with, and let them book their own appointments. This is a huge time saver. Finally, let's click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and then click on Labs in this menu. Now if you're anything like me, you probably don't book much in your calendar for after 11 at night or before 6 in the morning. So you can enable this lab, Hide Morning and Night, and flip back to your calendar. Now you'll see that only my working hours are displayed, giving me a cleaner, easier to read calendar. You can customize what hours are displayed by clicking over here and manually adjusting the settings. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions for us, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.